well, we've got base rate just coming off its all-time low, so uh, the cost of funds has never, or almost has never been lower, sitting at 0.5%. Uh, we have a return to pre-credit crunch margins for the first time in almost a decade. So we're able to look at funding margins that are similar to pre-credit crunch margins. Um, so really, I have to say, it's never been better, certainly in the international space. What are the risks? I guess they're the same as they always have been. You know, there is there's currency risk, there is uh, the UK's place in sort of global economies risk um, and there's the risk of interest rate movements. Um, I think that you have to look past just a single event of Brexit to assess whether or not something is the you know, right asset for you to purchase. Um, there are many factors at the moment which seem to suggest that property is a good investment, certainly from an international perspective. Obviously, if the pound was to fall further, you'd be better off waiting. But the question of whether you can pick the bottom of the market is the same as whether you can pick the top. Uh, it's, it's now about 25% cheaper in, terms of, in currency terms for people in dollar-denominated currencies to buy than it was about 18 to 24 months ago. So how cheap does it have to get before you decide you want to call the market? One would suggest that now is probably a very interesting time for you to be considering that, especially with the relative stability of sterling over the last three or four months. It's an interesting one. Um, I think it's, it's a good time for international investors. I mean, we've seen wave after wave of regulation hit the, the mortgage industry um, since the credit crunch in 2008, 2009. Um, and where there's waves of regulation, there's evolution. And what we've seen in the last 12 to 18 months is the re-establishment of new lenders in the international space. Uh, after European MCD and the regulations on multi-currency mortgages, we saw that some lenders, some of the big banks, uh, the UK domestic banks pulling out of that international market, they left a space which has now more than been filled by some very, very interesting new incumbents.